All right, uh, the main tribe are were they were of like uh, not a lot of importance, and they were probably they were just shown out as like filler in the slave process in chapter five hundred and one. They got sold for seven hundred thousand berries each as slaves, uh, which is like I think a lot more than dwarves. But at the same time, when I read that chapter, I did not know what a mink was. So I started like looking around in the internet sphere, and I kept finding some cats and tigers here and there. So it could probably be related to some type of animal, because we were uh, the Luffy, Law, and Bartholomew gang are landing on Zoe, which turns out to be a giant elf elephant. So there may be some type of uh, animal theme going on. So which is like a good transition from uh, toys. Uh, dwarves uh, into more animals, Am animals, talking animals kind. Since they hate people, they may maybe, uh, they may be, um, be more aware of folks who have devil fruit, so they probably be a get a lot used to using devil fruit powers. And it's kind of hard to tell from the first chapter of being mentioned after over three hundred and one chapters. It's kind of strange. They jump onto the scene, but oh well. It's meaningful backtracking here, folks. Well, since they've been around since over a thousand years, maybe Robin can gain some ins inside uh, info from the Void Century. And the reason why I say it because uh, Rayleigh told her that uh, Raftal tells the true history but at the same time when they meet along different people they tell they tell the true history so eventually uh robin needs to make her own decisions so yeah